Hello, hello everyone. It is Jackie with Pocket of Preschool. Um, I'm coming to you live really quick to show you the brand new science unit, which is Forces and Motion, which it's like a little um, mini ball science study, which I know a lot of you guys have been asking for a um, ball science unit because some of you guys have to do a ball theme in your classroom. Just like my other science units, it's going to be a fun science table with different experiments that you can do with your kiddos um, to explore force and motion and then pushes and pulls. Um, so I'm going to flip it around and show you guys what I have for you. So here is the science table. And this, for this unit, I thought um, some of the words were a little bit tricky. Like we have friction and stop and force and push and pull. So these, I have two vocabulary cards included in this force in motion science unit. There's some like these that have the definition at the bottom and then there's some without the definition at the bottom. So you use what works for you. Um, but I, for me, I kind of wanted the definitions at the bottom just so I was giving the kid, kiddos the accurate information. And don't be afraid to use some of these big words with them because even though they may not fully understand it now, they will later. The more they hear it, the more they learn about it, the more it'll get stuck in their brain and the more they can figure out kind of what it is. So the first science um, exploration for the force in motion unit is does it roll or does it not roll? And it's a super simple um, experiment. I have a rolls and doesn't roll chart, and then I have a tray of objects, and then I have cards to go with it. So they pick the object, and then they have to figure out if it rolls or it doesn't roll. Now I have a tray over here, that way they can kind of move the tray if they want, um, so they can kind of um, explore how they can move an object to make it roll. Are they pushing it, are they pulling it, are they moving the surface underneath it to make it roll? And things like that. So, um, and I, the objects I picked, you can tell these are things you have in your classroom, like a little animal, a feather, a water bottle, a ball, a notebook, a sponge, things like that. So that way it's nothing you have to go out and purchase, it's things you already have. And then they can either sort the cards or they can actually put the objects on roll or doesn't roll. And if you um, wanted a different option, I also have, it where you can use, um, you can do the Velcro and make it either into a fire file folder or you can just put this up here instead of the rolls doesn't roll chart. So it's kind of up to you if you wanna use a Velcro chart or if you just wanna use just a little simple T chart. Totally up to you what you guys wanna use. And there is um, a recording sheet for um, a lot of my kindergarten friends, my kindergarten teachers are wanting the recording too, so that is in here as well. There is also a force in motion at the playground read aloud. So it kind of goes through the, the playground and talks about all the different pushes and pulls at a playground and how the force and um, all the motions that are at the playground, which is, I thought that was a kind of fun one to do since it's something they all experience on a daily basis at school or at home going on the playground and they can actually you could actually go out on the playground after you do the read aloud and talk about, oh, this is, you know, we're going down the slide, we're going up the slide, I'm pulling myself up the ladder and things like that. So they can totally make connections to their real life um, after that read aloud. So after you would do the rolls and doesn't roll um, experiment, you could jump ahead and do pushes and pulls. And pushes and pulls, and I'm not gonna lie guys, when I first said I would do this unit, I was not very excited about it. <laughs> um, but it turns out that it turned out to be a really fun um, unit to do <laughs> once I um, started getting my ideas rolling. So I just have a tray of objects and don't worry, I have ideas for you listed. And again, these are all things you have in your classroom. Oh, and if you're wondering what this is, this is a stapleless stapler, <laughs> so they can't hurt themselves. Um, but these are all different things you have in your classroom and there's cards to match them. So like a hole punch, and they can, you know, is it a push, is it a pull, or is it both? And then they can actually try it, the motion, and do it, um, and things like that. So that way they are, they can 
try it and then they can figure out if it's a push or a pull based on the motion they were doing. Um, and again, I have a whole bunch of cards. And for buttons, I just found this. <laughs> this was in my pretend play like stash. Just so it's just something with buttons. Um, pushes and pulls like tape. Obviously, you wouldn't have toothpaste, but they can still, even though you don't have everything on your tray, they can still make a connection to it. Um, a drawer, a zipper, um, building. So I do have some little blocks so they can practice pulling them off and then pushing them on um, and then sorting them. And then I also included extra pictures of different pushes and pulls. So that way, if you... Um, especially for my kindergarten friends, um, if you wanted to kind of take it that next step and after they experience this, they can sort things that they know in real life, like pulling um, a piece of luggage and then they could sort these on, on, the, um, on the sorting chart. So it's something they're not experiencing, but they probably have real life experience with, like a yo-yo is um, push because they pull it and they push it. And then again, it has the, you can also do it and have it as like a Velcro piece thing or like a file folder. And there is a recording page as well. And then I thought, um, why not it, um, with your whole group? So after you read the forces in motion, read aloud. And this one I just printed smaller. Um, so if you have a small science center, you can print everything just smaller and the directions are included in the unit on how to do that. So if you have a small classroom, no worries. Um, you are good to go. Um, there is, um, I don't have a, a quote supply list, um, but I do have the pictures of everything that you would need. Basically like, um, you just print the pushes and pulls charts and then grab those things and then you print the um, rolls, doesn't rolls chart and that's kind of your supply list. But I also didn't know exactly what every, I, I tried to do things that I think everybody has like a hole punch, um, tweezers, a, you know, a roll of tape, stuff like that, rubber bands, a little car. Um, and then, so after you, kind of jumping back to what I was saying, sorry guys, um, after you do the read around a circle, take these little headers that are included and put them on a tray and have your kiddos walk around the classroom and find things in your classroom that are pushes and pulls, just a pull or just a push. So I actually had my um, pre-K friend um, come over and he helped me walk. He does the units with me because um, I test them out to make sure they work for um, pre-K and um you know, kiddos to make sure everything works before I give it to you guys. Um, but he walked around, he found, couldn't find a lot of pushes, pulls in my classroom, but he found some pushes, lots of pushes and pulls. So it was really fun, funny to hear him like walk around and kind of do that self-talk about um, what objects do and things like that. So that would be a fun kind of whole group connection. And I know we're always trying to sneak science in after we do our read alouds too, because we all know there's not enough time in a day to just do um, science. And then, um, so force of motion is also about all the different directions motion can take. So motion can go, it can go up and down and left and right and around and up and down and zigzag and back and forth. So I made a visual chart. Um, and this is also great too, because these are all directional um, math vocabulary words too. So you're kind of working on that at the same time as you're talking about how a, for a force moves. So you're kind of covering math and science at the same time. So I thought, well, what fun experiment, science um, STEM experiment we could put at the table where well, they could make a little marble maze um, and they could practice trying to get the marble to move different directions. So I literally took these cards and I put them on a ring, that way they could take their base plate. And these I got at the Dollar Tree, um, these little base plates. I think I got them like three weeks ago maybe, and, I, and they're still there, I saw them. Um, so these are the Dollar Tree if you want a, a base plate. Um, and then you just take some little Legos, and they actually have little Legos like this at the Dollar, um, the dollar Tree too. And it doesn't take a lot of Legos because you're just doing it at the science table. And they only need a little bit. So um, I know it sounds complicated, but my pre-K kiddo actually built this one. And it took him maybe like five, seven minutes to figure out how to make it go around. 
So, and they're, and they're not going to be super complex mazes, mazes like you would see like a first grader, a third grader do, because our friends are little. They're three, they're four, they're five, they're six if they're in kinder. Um, here's another one he made. He made this one for it to go back and forth or up and down. So just super, super simple paths. Um, and then you can also have them draw their maze and the path it took. So he drew this one. So you can kind of see um, how he drew it. And then if you wanted to, you could also take these extra cards and talk about what direction the force is moving. So this one, the force is moving around and around. This one, the force is moving back and forth. This one, the force is moving up and down. Um, so you could also um, use these little um, movement or force and motion cards for that. That's why I didn't put labels on these. That way if you wanted to use them for more than one activity, you could. <clears throat> and as always, there's, again, a recording page for my kinder friends. And then there, there is a family note. And there are journal covers. And there are three different kinds of journals. Journal pages. There are... There's this one with two lines. There's also one with a one line, and then there is a dotted line as well. Um, that way you can pick which journal you wanna use for your kiddos. And I thought, since a lot of us have block centers, why not take this directions challenge to the block center? So I had my little friend, I'm just walking with you guys. He came over to the block center and made a maze with the wood blocks. And obviously, you wouldn't, he would have to hit the ball or push it. So you can talk about how, you know, how the force is different when you have the base plate maze, how the marble is moving, that you're moving the board, and the board is pushing the marble. And this time, you are pushing the ball to make the ball move. So you could also take it um, and extend your science into the block center as well for this study. I'm going to flip it back. So see, this this unit, I was not excited about it at first, I'm not gonna lie. And I was like, oh, force of motion, that's it's not very fun. But it, it is fun. I'm actually excited to do it with my kiddos. So I'm actually gonna do this unit when I do um, my shapes theme. And everybody always asks me how I keep everything organized. And there are labels included, and I just keep everything in, gosh, these iris containers. And then, it, I don't, I'm not a binder girl, but if you're a binder girl, just put everything in a binder. Otherwise, I just put everything in these page protectors and put it on a book ring. And I'm gonna flip it around so I can show you the teacher pages. All right, so here is the unit. And then again, there's a whole bunch of pictures, lots of teacher directions, kind of everything I said in a nutshell. Um, that way you guys have lots of options. That way when you go to do the unit, you have lots of things you can do and you don't have to reinvent the wheel. It's already done for you. So yeah, so how much fun is that, right? Um, so yeah, so that is the force and motion unit. That's And it's in the Science for Little Learners bundle. So if you own the bundle, go download it again. Your update is there. And you guys have a great night and I will talk to you soon. Bye.